but let's uh, do a deep dive of the nifty metal space as well because metal as a sector is your um, top gainer one and a quarter percent higher and it's across the board you have the ferrous names, names which are doing well aluminium zinc all the stocks are buzzing in the trading session today to understand the thematic and what's really working out for the sector um we have with us mr amit dixit the analyst vice president securities joining us now amit hi good afternoon thank you so much for making time and speaking with us metals as a trade what are you recommending at this point of time and the pulls and push how are they stacked up you believe Yeah. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having me on the show. So, uh, if you look at metals currently, I believe uh, we are in a zone where uh, you know, on one hand, we have uh, the hopes of Chinese stimulus uh, post the New Year. Uh, the celebrations, of course, are on uh, January twenty-two, and the reopening push, China reopening push. Uh, we believe that uh, finally some of it would be manifested through the stimulus push. and that is what has been driving the metal stocks uh, globally uh, for most of the january and uh, if you look at uh, prices if you talk about steel prices aluminium prices everything has moved in tandem and pushing the stocks higher so uh, that is one part of it however one thing that you know we need to be very very cognizant of is the extent of stimulus that could be manifested and uh, some of the things that we saw the uh, the particularly the high frequency indicators such as chinese trade data which was reasonably uh, weak i would say in the month of for the month of december for the month of january as well we don't expect a meaningful push because of the fact that chinese new year is there and you know during before chinese new year the industrial activity typically is down so what government does what it does in terms of stimulus i think that is something which will uh, decide the uh, the metals uh, metal sector the uh, and and the kind of optimism that has been built in i think whether it is justified or not would be manifested only when the stimulus measures some of these policy measures are announced after the new year right amit the hi this is vinny joining in as well so you know you were mentioning right now you're saying that you know if the stimulus is not as expected then does that mean we'll actually start seeing a reversal coming in these metal prices and you know we could see a fall or a correction there then Yes, of course, because if the stimulus measures are not as what is Street Street is expecting, so Street is expecting meaningful stimulus, for instance, in real estate space, which has been struggling for a while, stimulus in uh, in buy goods space. Uh, so if this doesn't come that meaningfully, and by the way, some of the indicators that we have seen, like housing starts, if you see the land area purchased, these have been down. so you know uh, but uh, but if there is a policy shift that indicates that government is doing something about it while the actual thing might come 3 months hence or whatever because it takes its own time but you know if nothing of that sort comes or if it comes with a lag or if it comes with certain disclaimers for instance very recently ndrc officials mentioned that you know iron ore prices have gone up too sharply and too soon so statements like these certainly don't help we have to see how china balances the economic growth versus inflation i think that is going to be the key so china of course holds the linchpin of how the entire metal sector is likely to pay, play out but just if i had to ask you given the um okay. given the way things are stacked up at the moment what is your top recommendation from the metal mm-hmm. stack which is the space you like ferrous non ferrous what's your word in aluminium copper etc okay sure so uh, we are actually uh, we like uh, non ferrous more than ferrous in non ferrous we like uh, hindalco uh, the reason being that aluminium particularly because of its energy intensity and the fact that chinese exports have started coming off mainly due to the uh, some of the plants not ramping up we believe that's a positive for aluminium prices so hindalco definitely is uh, one of our key picks in ferrous space uh, our top pick is js mainly because of the fact that it is uh, the most of the uh, story is essentially domestic oriented it is into long products mostly and these long products are critical for infrastructure and whenever we see demand uptick in the country it comes through infrastructure first uh, the third stock that we like is jindal stainless again because stainless steel imports in the country have come off the company is uh, going to commission its new capacity by march end uh, the brownfield capacity at jajpur so i think these are certain these certain stocks where we see uh, values still left 
Okay, Amit. Thank you so much uh, for that, and thank you so much for joining with us uh, this afternoon on ET Now. But uh, moving on from the metal space, and Union Budget is.